Just because. I hate myself. Okay. One, two, three. Hey guys. So today I am making a video. Yeah, shocker. I know. I haven't been here in like almost a year. I haven't like been in front of a camera talking before I continue. Can we talk about my nails? I'm sorry. It's a disgrace. I'm sorry. Um, let's just ignore it for the rest of the video. Thank you. Um, okay. So yes, I am back. I'm back home. It is summertime. I am back home for good though. I left college, I guess you could say. It's kind of like a weird video because one, don't want to make it that long, but like it's kind of a long story. Two, because I don't really want to talk about this or address it, but at the same time, it's kind of like a me thing. And like, hopefully if I say this, I won't have to keep telling the story because I know I don't have like a huge fan base. Like I literally have like a hundred and something subscribers, whatever. But at the same time, like I just want people to know what's going on up here. So I haven't been posting. It's a thing. Whatever. Last time you saw me, I was full of hope and like excitement and joy. And then I don't know. I don't know what happened. I was kind of put in like a living situation to where it kind of like compromised my ability to like make friends in my hall. For the people who don't know, a lot of the times people are going to make friends in their dorm, like in their hall. And mine was like a like upperclassmen hall so everyone already kind of had their friends so it was just kind of like it was hard for me and like the freshmen to like make friends because usually people will like have their doors open and stuff like that but like no one did that so it was it just became kind of hard but I did make one friend and her name is Susanna this is her she's a lovely gal love her uh, I hate myself she was like my only friend um we both like kind of really hit it off because we didn't have friends, so we were like, hey, we'll be each other's friend, and we ended up being really cool friends. I ended up moving in with her second semester, it was really cool, but like my first semester though was not hot, like it sucked so much. Um, because it was really hard because like I had come from like being in LA where I had all my friends and all my family, and like when I was over there, like I was surrounded by a bunch of people. But they all kind of had their own friends and I had my one friend which was cool and everything. Then she started feeling the same way as I did and it just, it was really hard. It was just really hard to like connect with anyone because they all already had their friends. They already had their inside jokes. It was just, it was just a weird situation. And it was just something that I never really thought I'd have a problem with like making friends because I would say like I'm pretty like social or whatever. But it's just... I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't. Like, to this day, like, my mom asks me all the time. She's like, why do you think you didn't really make that many friends? And I was like, I have no idea. Um, but, like, it's okay, honestly, because it just really made me, like, being over there kind of just really made me realize that, like, I love my family. Like, it gave me, like, a new appreciation for them. It was just cool. And I met this really dope person, like, I love Susie, she's the best. So I'm really happy that I did it. I'm really happy that I did go to the school because I did learn to like be responsible for myself and like do my own laundry, which is not like I didn't do it before, but it was just different because I was just responsible for myself. I didn't have anyone telling me do this, do that, whatever. And it was something that I really enjoyed actually. Like I love living by myself or whatever, but I just wasn't enough. So once I got to like second semester, I was like, okay, I am leaving. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna transfer out of here. I started to realize this like pattern. Um, I wasn't really eating as often um, and I was always like in bed and I stopped going to classes which like affected my grades and like it was just this whole thing and like I started to realize that I was like depressed and like I didn't necessarily like notice it because I just kept telling myself like no you're not depressed you're fine you're good you're good because of the fact that like I didn't want to like make it real I don't know I don't know if that makes sense but um it was just something that I, I was going through and I realized that I had to like get myself out of that situation because it was not good for me it wasn't doing anything for me so I was like all right I'm leaving so I talked to my counselor she said that I can't transfer from like, because I was at a Cal State, so she said that I can't transfer from a Cal State to another Cal State, which is like, I knew that, but then I forgot it, 
Um, so she said that I had to transfer from a community college. And so that meant that I had to come back home um, and live back at home. <laughs> Which was something that, like, it kind of sucked because I liked my independence, but at the same time, I was like, I want to be back home with my family. I knew this was something that I had to do, so I, it was kind of like a no-brainer. Um, okay, pause. Um, just thought that I'd mention, there were a lot of other reasons why I decided to leave the school. So it's not just this, not just because I miss my family and friends and home, even though that is still not a bad reason. But... Yeah, there were a lot of other reasons, so, yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to community college. I'm going to start my first semester, my first summer semester of classes um, really soon. And, yeah, and that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully, like, transfer to a school that is, like, far away to where I can dorm there, but, like, close enough to come home on the weekends or whatever. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, and that is my life update, I guess you could say. I left my dorming life, college, whatever, and came back home with my family, and I honestly am so happy. I know this is a freaking long video, and I'm so sorry. This was something that, like, I needed to get off my chest or whatever. Yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I don't know if you guys are still watching. Thanks. Um... This is my life update, cool. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully I'll be posting more because I have more motivation right now and I'm back home. I'm done unpacking. Your girl is chilling. <coughs> Whatever, okay, love you guys. Talk to you in the next video. Peace, peace, gotta go, bye. Mm, yeah. The hang-ups we have today. We need to try.